G'day everyone. So continuing our series of Mazda legends and celebrating 150 year anniversary of the Mighty Roos. Today we're meeting the great Matty Larkin, you know, one of our superstars from the 80s and early 90s. So let's catch up with him. Down towards full forward. A chance now for Larkin. Gonna run into trouble. He's got to beat three of them and he has. Larko. How are you, mate? Good to see you, pal. Yeah. What about uh, your early days, mate? You came up through the 19s. You had Dennis Pagan as your coach, so what was your first memories of Dennis? Oh, every time I think of Dennis, I just think angry. <laughs> He's just, he was just always that way. He just, but, but it was a good anger, sort of yeah. like he made you, he, he sort of pushed you, he, he, he tested you, you know, he, he, yeah, and he really wanted you to see you could get yeah, to see you could get through you know his program you know looking back i don't have too many regrets obviously i would have played, liked to have played in the grand final or win a grand final yeah, we're but we did play in some final series and most of the time in the 10 years that i played we were competitive there was i think seven years we were competitive of the 10 yeah and there was two or three that we weren't and that's probably the way north tracks pretty yeah, much anyway is, really yeah tell us about the impact that Kanga had on you because you obviously played great football yeah. under him. Well, I was no doubt I played my best footy under him. The thing that I remember most about when he got the job was he had such an aura about him and, and I knew of his sort of aura that he had and his presence and I knew he was a great orator and I thought well, oh, how it. scary is this yeah. bloke going to be? Like, yeah. I was 19, just finished, played 10 games. How scary is this guy going to be and, and how much work is he going to put us through pre-season? Mate, we're arriving at um, one of your great moments we're at the MCG. Alright Matt, here we are, MCG. You did kick goal of the year. Now, can you remember that? Magnificent moment. I do remember it. It was against West Coast. Yes. Um, I do remember the game was pretty tight at the time. I, I just remember picking it up, thinking, "How am I going to get out of this?" And three balks, blind a, turn. Blind turn and a balk. Was it a drop punt or a boomerang from the no, boundary? It was a left foot. Left foot. I ended up snap. back on my left. <laughs> when you're right footer. Yeah. No, I, I was okay on my left. I, yeah. I, I, probably better than some of the guys running around now who are on their opposite yes, foot. Yes, you're very talented. <laughs> To, to play on the um, the, the biggest grounds yeah. and, and you know get attractive you know some of the crowds we would have got we wouldn't have played in front of no, them at Arden, not Street. Arden Street and um, yeah Friday night night was our own for I don't know probably three yeah. years or four we years I, I think every second week we were playing a Friday night game in one of the years yeah. so if if we didn't play thirty games here in three or four years I'll, I'll go here yeah. and and um, yeah this was sort of like our home ground at one stage because we didn't play a lot at Arden Street yeah we played two games there one and both. <laughs> I think it was the last time we beat Hawthorne from in my career was at Arden Street and we never beat them again. Well mate, we've covered a lot of things today. You know, you've uh, you know, you've been a great warrior for the Mighty Roos, skipper, BNF winner, finalist, you know, in terms we played finals. You know, we're fortunate to play with some great players, some great characters. Yeah. So on behalf of Mazda, the North Melbourne Footy Club, just want to thank you for making your time available today, mate. Oh no, thanks Donald. Good to see you champ.